here in the middle of the season. These teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes, that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. Now here's Barrett. There's the drive. And no good. Some solid defense from James. Pass to Beverly, to the paint. Here's T. Yep, that one goes. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Brunson passes to Barrett. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Beverly. Here's Reeves, guarded by Barrett. Beverly outside. Pass to Reeves. Shot clock at five. From downtown, drills it from deep. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. As for the Lakers, you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this story franchise. Barrett does a good job there just creating the shot for himself. He is a scorer. Here's Reeves, guarded by Barrett. Pass to T. The three. Can't get it to drop. Now the Knicks take it the other way. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Now here's Barrett. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. And he also positioned himself perfectly to grab all those rebounds. Guys, can't forget about the fundamentals. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's T. He's coming off a 25-point game against Brooklyn. James against Toppin. Good on the shot. That's just good basketball. I think King James down low is not a bad option. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. Don't take possessions like that one all day. Now here's Reddish. 15 in his last outing. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Brunson against Beverly. Pass to Bryant. Here's T. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. I don't know why we say this, but big men sharing the ball, we like that. It doesn't matter. Big, small, we'll take a good pass. Brunson finds Barrett. Reddish with it. Picked up by James. Toppin outside. And here is Barrett. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Pretty fundamental play there from Obi Toppin. Hitting it to the wide open shooter. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett. Making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. A good fast-paced play there. It's much easier to find a shot when you meet the defense back. James outside. To the wing on the left. Here's T. The shot's good on the assist by James. He's got seven. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Barrett with it. And you look at the numbers, currently around 22 and a half points a game. Left side Brunson. The three is up. Gets the three ball to go. Brunson's got his second bucket on the night. And that's a good heads up play there from RJ. The Lakers trail. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. 
Out to the right wing. James passes to Brian. Here's T. And another three for the Lakers. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Here's Barrett. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for us. Stein. He's checked in for Toppin. R.J. Barrett comes in for Fournier. Reddish is checked in for Quickly. And Brunson is subbed in for Graham. And so in the game for the Lakers, they've got Kendrick Nunn. Troy Brown out there with LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the three. Now here's Reddish. Seven points in the game. Outside Brunson. Here's Sims. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. Now, both teams trying to prove that New York belongs to them. Now, here's Brown. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Barrett against Brown. Pass to Sims. For three. Reddish misses. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Here's Reeves. Takes the three. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got his third assist of the night. New York has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Brunson. Oh, and he can't make that one. Two for three now. His first miss. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. James. And the basket is good. James has got five points in the quarter. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Hardenstein a screen. Pass to Barrett. It'll count. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And... They got hammered. I mean hammered on the board. That's that tells them. Let's turn our attention to the... Thanks as always for watching. Gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, BA. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. We've got Cam Reddish, Obi Toppin out there with R.J. Barrett. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein, and it's Brunson in at the point. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. Well, guys, he in the last outing against the Nets just played phenomenal. He picked up 25 points, and his shot was looking pure from downtown and from the line. And his performance helped his team continue its winning ways. Back to the broadcast table.
All right, Alec, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. The Lakers with the ball. After the basket by New York. Four on the clock. From outside the arc, shot is good by Reeves. He's got nine. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Brunson against Beverly. Here's Hardenstein. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Hardenstein's got his first points in this one. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Got a piece of it. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy three or four to start it off. Here's T out to James. Over to the wing. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And the Lakers lead by 15. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Now here's Brunson. Seven points in the game. And there it is for him. Hardenstein's got four points in the game. <laughs> Here's T. James inside. He's against Hartenstein. And he comes up with a bucket. James has got nine. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one of them. K Sports, coming your way right after this. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. We've got LeBron James, Troy Brown out there with Juan Toscano Anderson. Then it's Kendrick Nunn, and it's T in at the two. Just four to shoot. against Brooks and it's good with time running down on the shot clock that kind of looks like a predictable shot one that they want the defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot and slam dunk by James with almost an entire new group here Hardenstein he's checked in for Sims Toppin comes in for Mikhail Luke. Reddish is checked in for Grimes. And Brunson is subbed in for Brooks. Bryant, he's checked in for the Lakers. Beverly comes in for Brown. Toppin, a screen on Beverly. Brunson finds Toppin. James with the block. LeBron authorizing another block shot. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. To the middle. Here's Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. The Knicks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Hartenstein. And Brent, you won the dunk contest in 96. After last year's edition, some calls to fix it. You got any ideas? BA, every year they're trying to fix the dunk contest. And I like it. The league has tinkered with it before. They've tried different things. Some successful, some not so much. But the fact is, is you just got to get great dunkers out there, and you got to put on a show. And when the league gets that, everybody's happy. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Barrett. And stolen by Nunn. In transition, here they come. Here's James. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. 
Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Well, another part of the credit has to go to what they did on the inside blocking shots. I mean, super scrappy defensively and just affecting a lot of the opportunities that their opponents were putting up. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Here's the screen by Bryant. The shot. And again, it's the Lakers. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Back to Reddish. Fires the three. LeBron with the rebound. James has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Powered down as the whistle blows. Three points. Well, Grant, this is the business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think as people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. Brunson misses. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 14-4 run. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Lakers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And so they powered through to their 51st win of the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for T. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close. And I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. And the Knicks making a change here. Barrett's checked in. Pass to Bryant. Here's T. Yes, sir. And it's Bryant picking up the assist. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Hardenstein a screen. Right side Barrett. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure... Boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll do it, folks. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.